All right, folks, welcome back to Procreate. So I've got the lights down really low on this video because I want you to be able to see the gestures. And by the way, this lesson is all about gestures. Now, thus far, we've been using the Apple Pencil to create. But one of the things that makes the iPad and Procreate more organic, as opposed to, say, uh, Affinity Designer, is the ability to use gestures. So we're going to use the Apple Pencil. I'm going to create a square using my technical pen and a black color, right? And then I'm going to flood fill this thing. And now I'm putting the pencil down. All right. Now, with gestures, if you grab the transform, you can shrink, you can expand just like you would normally do. You can move around, of course. But now if we're not transforming an object, let's say I take that transform off. I take my two fingers, I can shrink, and I can rotate the canvas. This is extremely important for lettering. Let me show you how this works, right? You want to line and letter the way that your hand works. So especially with things like the Studio Pen. If you're working through, and you're working with the Studio Pen, right, and you're trying to pull a line, Pulling a line this way is a little bit harder. So if I've got a design in which I want to pull a line that way, I can take the canvas and I can rotate it until the way that I pull a line is very, very similar to how I would work in real life. So that's how you rotate your canvas. That's how you shrink your canvas. And that's how you expand your canvas. Okay, now let's say you get your canvas super duper small, right? And you want to bring it back full size. Bring it back until it's very small. Pinch it until it should theoretically go to non-existence. And then it comes back to full screen. Okay, so that is how you rotate your canvas and how you change the size of your canvas using gestures. Now you see here I put a lot of different marks on the page. Let's say I don't want those. Here's how you undo. You take your two fingers, tap on the screen, and you see this one over here just disappeared. Now, if I want that back, I take three fingers, and I tap on the screen, redo. Two fingers, undo. Three fingers, redo. Two, three. So that's how you do it. You see it's even a little bit touchy there between two and three fingers. No pun intended on the touchy comment. So it's not perfect, but I'll tell you, if you're working through Procreate and you do something you don't like, the ability to just tap on the screen and undo it is crucial. Now, let me show you how you do what's called a rapid undo. It's the same as an undo. You take your two fingers, but you hold it to the canvas. See what that did there? Now, let's say I want to bring it all back. You do a rapid redo. You tap and hold with the three fingers and then they're all back. So that's how you do a rapid undo and how you do a rapid redo. All right, so you know how to rotate your canvas, you know how to resize your canvas, you know how to undo, you know how to redo. Let me show you the last gesture that you're really gonna need to get the job done here. Take your three fingers and swipe them down. There's your cut, copy, and paste menu. So if I copy and then paste, Look at what I just got now. If we go back to our Layers tab, we've got a completely new layer that's been inserted because of the cut, copy, paste. So now if I don't like this menu, swipe down, cut that particular layer out. And then we're back to just regular old drawing. So again, there's the gesture. Now make sure that you don't have anything selected. If you're using your selection tool, you're not going to be able to adjust your canvas size. Okay. So that's a little bit on gestures, how you can use them. When we get into the next frame of our class where we're actually putting together a project which will require a lining layer, you're going to want to know this part. All right, folks, that's a little bit on gestures in Procreate. Let's go ahead and make our canvas full size again. We shrink it and grab it and pinch it until it goes full size. All right, have a good one. We'll see you in the next lessons.